CataractCoach.com. Why did the patient go elsewhere? Let me show you how to help your colleague to do what's best for the patient. Now here's the original cataract surgery. I performed the surgery a few months prior to the patient seeing another doctor. And you can see there's an anterior cortical cataract. Now I'm sitting here superiorly and making the incision at 90 degrees and I don't like to operate superior, I like temporal. But I'm doing this because the patient has about 0.65 diopter of astigmatism with the rule. Now we're okay, creating our capsulorexis here. Now a patient like this has a lot of glare already from the oncoming lights at night because of that anterior cortical cataract. The patient and I had lengthy discussions in the preoperative examination, and we decided that the best option would be to do a trifocal IOL to give the patient the widest range of vision without glasses. You see, this patient's relatively young, about 50 years old. Now, the nucleus was soft, we removed it very quickly. Here comes the cortex removal. That goes beautifully as well. So the whole cataract case was totally routine, and we absolutely really sweated the lens calculations and got this patient the exact outcome that was promised, a plano outcome. So there's cleaning up the capture bag, there's the viscolats going in, beautiful rexus as we see. Here comes the IOL going in the capture bag and we'll put this into position. We'll even perfectly center this lens. And everything goes great, so the lens is in good position. Let's take out the viscoelastic. And at the very end here, we're gonna do a little limbal relaxed incision opposite the main incision, also at the 90 degree meridian, in order to, again, help really neutralize that 0.6 diopters. So sealing the main incision right there, that looks pretty good, really getting that lens in the perfect centration. We want those Purkinje images lined up beautifully, no parallax at all, and right in the center of that, uh, lens ring, the central ring, that looks perfect. Little triamcinolone going inside the eye, a little antibiotic, moxifloxacin. There's a wex cell with some tetracaine. Here comes an opposite LRI. That looks perfect. Let me show you. Here's the outcome. Now, what do we got? Post op, after a month of healing, the patient has an absolute planar refraction. 20 20 and J1. But the patient's having some headaches, and he attributes these headaches to the IOL. You can see a picture there, beautiful IOL centration in the pupil. So my advice was, let's just do cataracts to the other eye, because then you'll be balanced, both eyes will have the same vision. I think that'll help. The patient saw a second opinion doctor. He echoed my opinion, do cataract surgery of the other eye. The third opinion doctor said, he's not sure, refer to another doctor. The fourth opinion doctor says, hey, let's do an IOL exchange surgery. Okay, I'm game with that. Let's see what happens. Here's the IOL exchange surgery. Now, it's interesting, starting off with one, two, three, four paracentesis incisions. That's a lot of paracentesis, that's okay. This surgeon has decided to take out this trifocal lens and replace it with a monofocal lens instead. Again, a reasonable approach. Now, when this surgeon asked me for the patient's records and prior biometry, of course, not only did I give him everything, the op report, the lens calculations, I even sent this surgeon a video of the original cataract surgery that I just showed you. And I said, hey, I want what's best for this patient. And if this patient at this time thinks that the best option is to go with you and to do an IOL exchange, then honestly, you have my full support. I only want what's best for this patient. So he was convinced, this anonymous surgeon in the community, that the best option would be to do an IOL exchange. I said, okay, let's do it. You go for it. And so, remember, the patient was very shy about this. The patient never told me that he was going to get a second, third, or even fourth opinion. I don't mind. I'm fully supportive. Remember, as ophthalmologists, we only want what's best for our patients. And if you want to get multiple opinions, please do so. So there's the IOL. Good job dissecting out of the capsule bag. This surgeon doesn't, um, doesn't really open my main incision, has a hard time with that. 
So he's going to create a separate incision. So my main incision sealed up beautifully because remember, as I taught you, I nicked those limbal vessels. So my incision sealed up beautifully and he just can't open it. That's okay. My advice though, next time if you want to open it, use something a little sharper like a Sinsky hook. So he's creating a big temporal incision here, probably about three millimeters wide. And there's that lens coming up. And then I sent this surgeon also a link of how to do our favorite twist and out technique to uh, explant the lens. So he's going to do that. I like that. Beautiful. So there's grabbing the edge of the optic. Here comes a spatula going over. And there's the lens outside the eye. Beautiful. So he'll finish up this case. He's going to now clean up that capsule bag, making sure it's open as much as you can. That's important because you want to really release the fusion of the anterior and posterior capsule leaflets from each other to really have a big open bag. In this case, a little bit more IA is being done here, irrigation aspiration, cleaning up that capsule bag for whatever little tissue you think may be remaining. That's okay. And the new lens is going to be a three-piece silicone lens. And that's the decision of this anonymous doctor in the community. Now, a couple of questions here. Do I feel bad that the patient left my practice and went to see other doctors? Of course not. I still just want what's best for this patient. And if you want a second opinion, I'm happy to, for you to have that. A third opinion, a fourth opinion, whatever you want. I just want my patients to have a beautiful result that they're happy with. And if for whatever reason the patient has lost some confidence in me or feels like a second or third or fourth opinion is in line, please do it. I will be so helpful to the new surgeon. I'll send all my data, all my records, even my videos of the surgery. I just want what's best for you. So now the patient had this done, and it's obviously a much bigger procedure. We've edited the video, but this is coming on an hour in length for the lens exchange. Remember, we're showing you the IOL exchange at 10 times normal speed. I hope the patient's found the happiness that he's looking for. I really do. And if that's with this other doctor and a monofocal lens, God bless him. And I know that you feel the same way. Thanks for watching and check out cataractcoach.com for the full teaching website, all organized by categories and indexed with a great search engine too.